Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and it's my pleasure to demonstrate some of the brand new features provided by 1CNC XR5. Now to begin with, let's take a look at the new streamlined user interface. One of the first things you'll note is that there's a brand new main toolbar located on the left-hand side of the screen. There's also a new quick access toolbar located in the upper right-hand corner. This toolbar is 100% user customizable. And also note that within XR5, your flyouts are now located in the lower right hand corner. This gives you more real estate when you're working with the NC Manager. Now, let's take a closer look at the new main toolbar. This is now divided into three different categories. There's a drawing category for working with your wireframe geometry. There's your modeling category for working with solids and surfaces. And there's a cam category for working with toolpaths. Now, to select an item, simply take your cursor and left hand mouse click. Once you do that, you're presented with a submenu. Same thing, if you want to select an item, just left hand mouse click and then go to work. Now to move backwards, you can hit the escape key on the keyboard, or you can simply select another item, or you can click on the X located in the upper right hand corner. Also notice that within XR5, you now have a very direct approach for entering coordinate input. You no longer have to access a submenu to get to coordinate input. You can also enter your data both in absolute and in incremental. I'm going to talk a lot more about this in the next video, but for now just realize that within XR5 you have a direct approach for entering coordinate input and you can enter that data both in absolute and incremental. It's very, very nice. Now let's take a look at the quick access toolbar. The idea with this toolbar is that you're going to populate this with your most commonly used commands. It's so simple and easy to set up. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to head over here to line. And let's say we want to add the line tool to the toolbar. To do that, just hover over and right hand mouse click. As soon as you do that, the command appears. If you want to remove the command from the toolbar, just simply right hand mouse click. So in summary, to add a command, you right click. To remove a command, you right click. It couldn't be more easy. Now let's demonstrate this even further. I'm going to right click on line. I'll right click on rectangle. And how about the new parallel offset command? We'll head over here to circle. I'm going to right click on that. We'll right click on fill it. Let's add a couple of trim tools. How about scissors and trim two? Let's add some extrude tools. How about extrude curves, extrude cut? We'll head down to manufacture. I'm going to add pocketing. How about profiling and a drill operation? Now you're not limited to geometric and manufacture tools. You can add views to your toolbar as well. Let's open up the view dialog box here. I'm going to right click over isometric and I'm going to right click over CAD view. I can now access those views from my quick access toolbar. If you'd like, you can also add verification tools. It works exactly the same way. Just take your cursor, right hand mouse click, and one CNC will add the command. If you want to remove the command, just right hand mouse click. If you'd like, you can also reorder commands. Now, if you want to reorder these, just click on the little ellipses button. That's that three dot button located right here. And once you do that, you're going to get the quick access dialog box. Now on the right hand side of the dialog box you have all the commands that are located within the quick access toolbar. If you want to reorder something just simply highlight the command and drag it where you want it and then let go. As soon as you click the OK button the toolbar will update. So what I've done is I've moved the scissors command to the end. I'll click OK and there you go. There's the scissors command. If I want to put that back I'll grab the scissors command. I'll drag it right up there and click OK and it's removed it. Or excuse me it's moved it or reorganized it. Now another thing you can do within this quick access dialog box is you can also add commands and delete commands as well. So to quickly demonstrate I'll come down, I'll grab the redo button and I'll click the right arrow and you can see it adds it here. If I click the OK button it's added to that dialog box. If I right click I can remove it. You can also remove commands as well just by highlighting the command and clicking the left arrow. So this is a very very powerful new dialog box. In fact within 1CNC XR5 you can also use that same dialog box to set up hotkeys. So if I go back here into the quick access, let's say I want to add a hotkey for, well, how about our new command, our new alter command. I'm going to highlight alter. I'm going to type in the letter A and hit assign. As soon as I do that, I now have assigned the letter A as a hotkey for alter. Let's do the same thing now here for, how about deselect. We'll come down to our selection category. I'll grab deselect. I'll hit the letter D. I'll click assign. And now, that is a hotkey assigned to deselect. Alright, thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to focus on the brand new geometry input provided by 1CNC XR5. 
I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you later.